tanks, you need to be rather more focused in what you're trying to do. Let's shift you up there. Though, we don't have that big a deficiency. Deficit, whatever. <laughs> the only bad thing about watching Heart of Iron streams, I sit there and think, okay, I can do this. I now know what to do. And you get embarrassed. Practice. It's just practice. You learn. And I have a fair amount of practice with this game now. Right, I'm going to shift your line down and shift yours too. Because it looks like the purples don't have that much to fight over. Yeah, that'll do. Right, are we into Michigan? No, my tanks keep getting pushed back. So their anti-tank is probably what's causing this now. Because they're, yeah, they got penetration. Oh no, that's me. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. What does this say? Wait, enemy S priority? No, they don't. I have it. Low supply doesn't help. Soft is 100% of all soft attacks. Soft is 55% of soft attacks. Piercing, 29. Doesn't say what their pierce is. Usually it does say if, like, unable to pierce enemy armor or something like that, and that isn't here, so I assume that is what they are trying to do, or what they are, in fact, doing. I should probably tell you all to stop. Morocco has capitulated. Okay. I mean, we, we, we got some free territory there. We can actually get some more. Let's grab that, shall we? And that. Sure, why not? Especially as this allows us across the river. You have a Rommel Escalon and nonchalance that helps. <laughs> it's all part of the character. <laughs> the keys to being a good military strategist, Alan and nonchalance, clearly. Okay. That time I was able to punch through. Don't really know what was different, except that my troops had got some organization back. I guess that was probably it. Um, no. I'm going to send you around the top just so we can grab all of this. Uh, you're going to go into uh, Detroit. You're going to get a cut off here. Ooh, that's nice. Mm, not quite a cut off. Actually, if we. Fighter threes. Excellent. And we're at 500. Air efficiency, that uh, air experience, that means that we can go to here, we can go to here, we can go to create variant, boost up the engine because it does not require uh, reliability, then boost up range a little bit, and you basically want to do that hand in hand with reliability. Wherever possible, going down a little bit is fine. Right. More Fighter 3 Mark 1s. No, that's not what I meant. What I meant was to upgrade the ones I already had. Which is just one line. Good. And I have some free mili military factories. I'm just going to go ahead and build some more. Fighter 3 Mark 1s. Marvellous. A little bit short on rubber. It's because the Brazilians can't send me any. Malaya, however. Buddy. Old chap. Old chum old thing. You can send me some. And there we go, Michigan's ours. They've lost 3.5 million troops, blimey. To my 700k. Alright, that's all done. Tanks, I'm going to tell you to halt. Just get into position once more. Uh, your job is going to be to punch through 
here and then to here. Are we getting attack bonuses? We are. Lots of them. Yellows, once again, you have tons. And they are once again attacking me. So, counter-attack! You have also been attacked. You are prepping. You... yeah. Let's just do another big offensive. Free civilian factories! Excellent! So we're still doing a load of repair work, that's fine. I mean, really, I'm just going to beef up the infrastructure here so that we can make sure that supplies keep getting through. Dispersed fighting, that means more fighter detection. Let's grab the next one. Plus 15% air superiority, yes please. I uh, could start getting some bombers. Eh, not really worth it. We're already getting that. Tanks I've already got. These, I am doing everything I need to. That's not until 46. We've already got the mechanized, which I could start building. Uh, let's get some more excavation. Let's use the tanks to support. Especially if we're able to punch through here in the top. I mean, we, we still have no planning preparation. So some of these attacks will be a lot less damaging than they could have been. And yes, I want everyone on super aggressive because we can definitely push to the advantage. And the whites don't have any planning prep either. You're level 6, you're level 6, level 5, level 3. Into our artillery. Not bad for 1945. Let's get the tier 2s. No non-aggressions for you. We're about to steal Cleveland. Excellent. You know what? Let's start making some mechanized. Why not? Buy in some more rubber from you because I have loads of civilian factories. Mordred, notice you don't often use the logistics support unit. Uh, which one was that? That one. Um. Supply usage reduction. If I'm fighting a lot in the in areas of low supply, so in Russia, in Africa, especially Africa, then I will. Here, you just don't need to because the infrastructure is so strong. I mean, yes, I've had a few supply issues, but generally just keeping this infrastructure built up is enough. So, mm, you, I just find you don't really need to. I mean, with the bigger units, the 40 combat with or even the 80, then you probably do want it. Uh, signal companies I sometimes use because the initiative actually I should be using signal companies because there is a little hidden benefit to this so initiative is usually the speed of which a unit will reinforce another unit in fact I'm going to probably start researching that I need to use red uh, signal companies more often signal companies are good because it increases the rate that you will reinforce someone very useful for tanks because it gets more tanks into the fight more quickly but the hidden benefit is that it also allows you to uh, get plans prepared faster and because the planning preparation for grand battle plan is so freaking massive and they don't have that many uh, preparation planning speed bonuses unlike mobile warfare so having signal companies in those units to get the plans done faster can also be very helpful so it is something I should do more often I just I very often don't have the support equipment and I'd rather produce things like tanks that's probably the main reason honestly do I stream this game often uh, pretty often and there are daily videos up on YouTube every day. So um, youtube.com slash mordredviking is my YouTube channel. And there are at least one series of these up there daily. Usually even two. Oh, you got through. That's annoying. Punch through again. Let's get that cut off. I quite liked it. it made me feel happy. Lovely. And then just make sure we don't lose it. Good. In fact, that is one hell of a long tank line. Let's go and reduce you. So it's just that. Boom. Thanks, Professor Mordred. 
Mordred Viking, a.k.a. Iron Valley Ale Drinker. That's some rather good ales yesterday, actually. Were they really good? Mm, they were right. I've had better. Um, right. We're getting loads of civilian factories, which means I can produce more infrastructure, and considering we're basically just pushing our advantage here, let's just start building those. And I'm taking the industrial heartland of America right now, which is why I'm getting so many more factories under my belt. It's another cutoff. Lovely. You must be getting close here. It's still only halfway. You've lost four million troops, America. Four million. You still have 400 divisions. <laughs> and you've gone up to all adults serve with your seven million manpower. You are still total, total mobilization. Blimey. But I think this is like the last leg. They're not going to recover from this now. They they could have done it. Like when they got the cutoff up or the near cutoff up here. They could have done some very significant damage. But thankfully they didn't push that advantage. Alright let's go and stick you guys in another airbase. You two here and fly over to there. You guys can get a little bit closer. Well, three of you can get a bit closer to there. In fact, you lot can go in there. And make sure we get some more of this coverage. Excellent. Continue. Yeah, free trade, especially as the Americas, you generally do want free trade. A lot of people don't like it. They prefer to go in closed economies, but the the uh, construction cost reduction is amazing, and the research cost reduction is also very good, but considering it's 1945, I don't think we're really going to need it. Yeah, I find a lot of people don't really rate um, free trade. I do. I definitely do. I'm going to say more mechanised, just because I haven't really had an opportunity to use them. And it'll take a while to build up sufficient to add them to my units. I will need to buy some more rubber. I have a feeling, Malaya, that we're going to become best buddies. Stick with me, uh, buddy. We'll all get rich. Oh, cut off. Egypt's cool. Russia took 37 states. Italy took 7. Commonwealth of Canada took 24. Oh, Canada took the whole of Egypt and Arabia. Interesting. Even Qing took their, their share. Russia took uh, Turkey and Persia. AK Iran. And Germany is still alive. How are you doing this, Germany? Are you even in the war? Ooh, they're releasing things. That's true. Factory output's pretty good. I usually do it for the construction, though. I like just having lots of stuff being built. Yeah, you are in the war. Against the Entente as well. You're just managing to hold this line somehow. Or it's because France isn't in the war. France is in the war. I don't know how they're holding that line so well, but they are. Or the AI is just AIing and not attacking. Also possible. How many troops does Germany have? Let's go and check that in a minute. Come on. I know you like to release your puppets, but come on. There we go. Yeah, you've only got, like, 80. Actually, you've only got 80. What's Canada got? 40. Spartacade, another glorious day for the working man. Jolly good. Yeah, I know. I don't really care about the fleets at the moment. Like, they all got sunk. I just have two destroyers left. Usually I'm a little more on... on it with that stuff, but this is so close to the end. Like, as soon as I've taken out the Combined Syndicates, I think I'm just going to call it at that point, because everyone's out of manpower. It's, it's late game.
Alright, come on, just just take Norlins. Take that bit. GG. And Nomi, thank you for the follow. And Judokai, thank you for the follow. Non aggression with Egypt? I think not. You're a fake state. You don't really exist. You are merely a puppet of someone else's whims. Or something like that. Ooh, purples, you have almost fulfilled your ambition. In fact, white guys, let's move you back up to the river. Let's move you up to there. Then you, your next objective is going to be that section of coast. Your next objective is going to be that section of coast. And yours is going to be that. Go, go, go. Yeah, they all have generals, because I don't have portraits. As I've said a few times, I really wish that they had generic portraits rather than no portraits. Because it's very hard to tell when they don't, but they do. Amaro Dominguez there. Alves Algrea. Rafael Calimeo. And Reyes Vega. And what was that I could build? Hey, artillery. <laughs> Not that I need them. Sharers, thank you for the follow. Are we coming to a halt again? It kind of looks that way, doesn't it? So, halt. Get your organisation back again. And then we'll go again! Well, we'll let them attack us while we're getting planning preparation, and then we'll attack. Oh, it's, it's a glorious day. I can upgrade my land units once more. Do these have variants? No. Disappointing. So I could upgrade the light tank mark ones, or I could get the SPGs even better. Um, I'm not going to bother with the engine. Not until I have a few more points to spend, because I also need to upgrade the light tanks for the engines. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We'll select just you, and we'll go to the mark 4. So my SPGs are now ridiculous. And I'm also going to upgrade the tanks. Because you need better armour. And some more reliability. And a bigger gun. And some more reliability. Save. Right. Mark 2. Mark 2. Good. Engineer company, so that's all complete. Um, running out of things to research. Fine mountain troops, though I'm not even using them. Oh, I forgot these. Whoops, that was that that was a mistake. Scroll bars, they they throw me. The north is losing. Not really. I am having problems with infrastructure, though. Just need to make sure that all of those get built. Double quick. Uh, AI is still just doing their silly attacks against me, so we may as well just do a massive counter-attack once again and punish them for that. Because they just run out of organisation. Ooh, tank line, you have expanded somewhat. Let's keep you more reasonable, shall we? Is this game worth the money? I think so. Get researching the 45 tanks. I can't. The latest medium tank I can get is the 41. There just aren't any others, and I haven't bothered with any of this. Yeah, get... 
get the base game with um, Kaiserreich mod. It's brilliant. Vanilla is disappointing, and I really wouldn't waste your money on d d d Death or Dishonor. Together for victory and the base game are fine. Death or Dishonor, waste of money. It's broken. It's rubbish. Doesn't add anything. Shurs and Zums, thank you very much for the follows. Appreciate that. Yeah, there are a lot of mods on Steam. Um, Kaiserreich, I would rate as probably the top one. I've heard very good things about the Great War mod, though I haven't played it recently. Road to 36 also gets pretty well praised. Um, oh, what's the Deluge one called? La Deluge. <laughs> um, another one. Millennium Dawn, though I like that one less. A lot of people are always asking me, play Millennium Dawn. I'm just not that big a fan of it. I prefer Kaiserreich and Great War. One thing that we're hoping to do on Monday is a live stream recording of the new Titans series. We were supposed to do that on Wednesday, but Val Noma didn't show up, so we ended up just doing Seven Days to Die. But that will be on Monday instead, because we're not able to do next Wednesday. Have I tried Black Ice? Black Ice is the mod that absolutely sold Hearts of Iron 3 to me. Uh, 3 was kind of eh, and then I played Black Ice and I loved it. I'm still waiting for them to do a bit more. I, I admit I haven't played it for a while, so I don't know what's really changed. It's probably another one that I need to check out again. Any plans for another Germany single player? Mm, probably not. Like, they're still kind of talking about doing another German update. I'll probably wait for that. There are just so many other countries I want to do. Like, the, the country that I'll probably do next probably is a single player coming to France. I'd like to get a better grip on how their focus is and everything like that works. Uh, beyond that, I might play as Russia again, simply because I don't have a Russia playthrough on YouTube. But then again, with all the problems I'm having with YouTube at the moment, they're not exactly in my good graces. And just to get them more views, it doesn't pay me. I'm not getting the review uh, revenue. So I'll probably hold off on Russia. The Dutch sending me even more. Wow, 1,500 Johnson M444s a month. Nice. I'm not playing the Ching until the next update. German Empire has finally capitulated. Bloody hell, that took long enough. Yes, the next Kaiserreich update is focusing on that. Commonwealth of Canada. <laughs> I thought you were going for Britain there, Canada, not Germany. Mountain infantry. Did the signals finish? Probably. Oh, this is getting laggy. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. Uh, Federated States of Italy would be another one. When the update comes out, the first one I'll probably do will be the Legation Cities. Play the War Pope. I want to uh, recreate the Italian Empire. Did signals finish? Signals did finish. Let's grab those. Let's grab... Come on, clicky click. The British King is embracing his love line. Uh, bloodline. I love it, as a German. <laughs> and then the game crashed. So, I think, honestly, I'm going to call it at that point. Um... And that game is as good as done. We've we've won. Uh, the rest of America will fall after that. It's just going to be a slow slog to take down the Entente. Particularly as I have to build up a navy as I don't have any ships. Taking Canada will be a walk in the park because I massively outnumber them. Um, and everyone's going to be having manpower issues by this stage of the game. Like late 45, 46, it's, it's done.